Okay, so if you're experiencing a problem when you click on your Sims 2 icon and it only pops up down here on the dock and bounces a few times and then shuts off, this is a known problem. It's caused because you have the new 7.6 version of QuickTime on your computer and that version creates some conflicts with pretty much most of our games on OS X 10.4.11. So, we have a fix for that on our website. Let's open up Safari right now, which is our web browser. We're going to go up here. We're going to type in support.aspire.com. This is going to bring up our main page here, and uh, we're going to scroll down. You can read all this text if you like, but it's pretty much what I've already explained to you, that explaining the QuickTime uh, issue that we're experiencing with uh, our games. So if you want, you can just go ahead and click on the QuickTime 7.6 Fixes link. This will bring up a list of all of the games that are being affected by it, or at least all the ones we have a fix for. And uh, if your game is not listed here, then please be patient with us and... Uh, We'll have it up as soon as possible. We are having to update all of our games and each expansion separately after this problem uh, popped up. So, if you're dealing with The Sims, you're going to have to install the fix for the latest released expansion that's installed on your computer, which means whichever disk you use to play The Sims 2 game, that's the expansion QuickTime fix that you're going to download. Uh, in my case, if you've seen our previous videos, you know that we installed Sims 2 University and that's it. So that's my latest release on my computer. And that's the one that I'm going to need to install. If you do not have any expansions, just go into the Sims 2 one and that'll be fine. But if you have Seasons, for example, and University, Seasons is the latest release of those two. So you'll still have to download the Seasons one. But in our case, it's university, so let's click on that one. It'll bring up the main knowledge base article on the problem. And it'll explain the problem here. And it'll also give you a link to download the Sims 2 combo patch, which you need to have installed before you perform the fix for the QuickTime problem. We addressed uh, how to install this in a previous video, so if you do have any problems installing it, then make sure that you check the previous videos. Right now I'm going to skip down to the solution box, and it gives you some instructions here on how to install the, uh, the replacement application that you're going to need to uh, put on your Sims to fix it and to get it playing again. And Let me just start downloading that right now. And it, this automatically starts downloading over here to my desktop because I'm on Safari. If you do have Firefox, a box will pop up asking you what to do with the file. Um, make sure you click on Save, not Open. Click on Save, and it will probably just start downloading to your desktop as well. And you can see it doesn't take a long time. It's a very small, small app. So this explains what it is and what you're downloading right now is a replacement application for the Sims 2 in my case for the Sims 2 University let's close here and let's close our web browser let's open up our Macintosh HD go to our applications here or here it's all the same scroll down to our Sims 2 and you can see my Sims 2 icon right here with the university icon. It looks exactly like what I just downloaded. And that's exactly what we want. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag this that you just downloaded on your desktop into the Sims 2 folder. What it's going to ask you is to replace it. It's going to say an item named the Sims 2 already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the one you're moving? Yes, you do. So let's click on replace. And there you go. If you double click this app, you should be able to play your game now.